We're live. I'm supposed to be on this channel. Yeah, Y'all, yeah. it is warm in here. It is a cold, rainy, windy day outside, but it is a toasty 70 something. No airflow other than heat. You think we should kill it? While we're pouring, so yeah, that and nothing. It's right over, it's right over there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Please hold. So yeah, 74 degrees in here right now in this second. How are y'all doing today? It's hump day. I hope your week is going stupendously. I have had a busy, busy week of doing orders and things. This is the board we will be pouring on. It is 40 inches slash and or 106.1 centimeters if you're into the centimeter game and not the inches game. <sighs> Is this still, it's still pretty dark. Do you want me to try to lighten it? Or no? It's the same, it looks good on that Lucy can. Let's just brighten it. Maybe the exposure. Go up. Yeah. The exposure. You gotta take it off. Oh, auto. And just click it. Just click in front of it. There. There you go. That's a lot brighter. See how that looks. All right. And today, if you haven't noticed how big this is, we have the man in the house. His name is Ray. You gotta come over here, Ray, so people can see you. Okay. He's joining us today. He's from Fort Worth. And, uh, hold on, you can see here. I'm trying to be That's small. That's Ray. Hey, ATD fam. Ray. This is ATD fam. Um, hey, Ray. <laughs> um, Ray's he, gonna probably be making our boards. Yes, we are, uh, we are looking for our ATD boards. He's, he's brought us two 40 inch boards and a really small little, I think it's like 12 inch board or something. Uh oh, here. Mitch is in um, the house from Stonecoat. Mitch, what's up? Um, and so he's been generous enough to make us two of these boards. One, how we always wanted to try just a flat, no rounded curve. Uh, we're gonna try that one out tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and so far, these boards are amazing. He's done a good job. The edges are nice, smooth. It's really light, which I was really surprised about. Um, I thought they'd be a little bit heavier, but they're awesome. They're good. We love them. So look him up. Um, on this is zip, that's his info right there. Look him up. Hit him up. Let him know. He's from Fort Worth, Texas, by the way. Um, Thanks, Natasha. Get comfy. Get comfy. Yeah, uh, Cujo's getting comfy. <laughs> so, um, Ray's going to be helping us tonight to do this super ultra large round and um, answer your questions about his boards. Um, they want to know what kind of wood it is, what are they made out of. Um, these particular ones are MDF, um, they can also come in pine, um, but uh, these, like I said, these particular ones are pine, uh, these are 40 inch, one has a uh, rounded edge, one has a sharp, sharp edge, and um, 
We're gonna use the sharp edge uh, at this pour. Flip it over and show them the cradle on the back. Yeah. Yeah, they are cradled. Um, 40 inch cradles come with a, a three inch uh, cradle. Um, the 40 inch boards come with a, a 30 or three inch cradle. Yeah. So. How heavy are they? They're not heavy at all. No, that's maybe. Like I thought for sure. It five would be pounds, eight. maybe. No, not even. I, 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 I didn't weigh it, so I don't. I'm not sure. Pounds. I don't know. Yeah. That's a. It's a great Three, size. Three. I don't know. Yeah. Great weight. Um, I think I should hit that with like four hundred. Yeah. Yeah, because you only put one layer, so yeah, four. Here it is, right? Um, I'm not like sure two. how much resin it's, it's gonna take. Where it's oh. gonna be trial and error. Oh, I thought that was four. Yeah, so it's gonna be. It's, we're gonna have um, to use quite a bit of resin. Yeah. I'm excited. Half inch MDF? Question mark. Um, that is uh, an inch. There an you inch. have it. it. It could be larger if you want, uh, but that. Well, this is like I the whole thing is an inch, or yeah. the MDF like. No, the whole thing. The whole thing is. Yeah. Combined. I think the MDF is like an hole. eighth inch, right? No, the 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 bot the the um the rim is three quarters, and then the face is a quarter. So. The MDF is a quarter inch. Yeah, so it's a, it's about an inch. So. No worries, y'all. We just started. Um, Right now, Jeff is sanding it down. We did, it came raw, so we did yeah. a coat of just flat white house paint on it. Um, and Can he's sanding it, it down with a 400 grit exactly. sandpaper. Yeah. Put it up here. Um, this is what the raw one looks like. Here's the raw. And you can see that this, this so is glad you're slightly here, Mitch. beveled. Nope. Some people like it. I just want to try this because I, I love how it Normally it just will not go over the edge if it's, unless you force it over the edge. Sometimes you gotta force it. That's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> um, so I do believe this round is gonna be epic. Epic? It's not words. We're going to use a color palette that I fell in love with in Australia and it's basically gold, bright pinks, teals, black and white. Um, just to give a shout out to Sherry, she should be on here. I believe she is. You have some fam in the room. Yeah, she um, she was my first uh, out of state client, and she received her boards today. She had three 15 inch rounds, nice, um, with a large, a little bit larger um, cradle, but uh, she said she loved them, so I'm very happy and thank you for that. Um, Hopefully we can get you some more boards. Sherry Cruz? No. Yeah, yeah. She Cruz. said love them. Yeah, Sherry Cruz, yeah. California. What up, Familia? Yes, I say that wrong, and that is fine. So, I am not you sure. Just black, you said? Like, just come in a little bit, or we don't want to do that? Um, just... Do um, two like areas darker? Like this is what it looked like last time. So just do two just areas that are not exactly opposite, but like mm -hmm. maybe here yeah. and here, something like that. Just dark areas. I honestly think it was the end. Like, we just went all the way around it because I painted it. I just watched the video and we didn't do any black. I'm just saying, because we oh. wish we had have done it black. I see, Just okay. in certain areas. All right. So I just picked two patches. Okay, what about local client moi? Moya or moi? I think acid trip is starting to you. Say again. Moya, I think that may be, yeah, that's my uh, friend of mine. Bam, cool. <laughs> um, Rhonda 
We are with Ray and his company is Visible Emotions Art and he made our cradle boards for us. We are testing the product because we always do tests for you guys and if they're as amazing as we know they're going to be, we're going to set up to where I can sell his boards on our website to y'all and ship them to all around the earth. If we're interested in purchasing, do we purchase through Facebook? Um, can. Uh, I need to verify if that's set up, but um, PayPal works as well. Um, but we can communicate through Facebook, Instagram, uh, or my uh, email, which I think was on there listed. Is Ray from Ireland? <laughs> no. I understand, Marcy. I'm glad you're here. What's up, Barbara J? Oh, yeah, it makes it easier to get just through your TV. Well, he sells them, and then we're going to sell them, and we're, we're yeah. going to have it. I think I think right now um, we're going to... ATD is going to sell or advertise a few sizes uh, for now, and then if you want... You know special custom then you can go direct through me uh to make you know to get those uh variable sizes that you that you want those custom sizes that we want yeah so all that's gonna be a little bit worked out a little more worked out and but i think that's pretty much the way it's gonna work right now we're gonna have a few sizes on on atd's website yep um, I'm not sure if I did get Twilight Orchid. I think I got every color from Resin Art. I'll have to go through my stash. Tonight, the Resin Art color I'm using is Aquamarine Papau. Super awesome color. What kind of resin are you using? I'm going to use Stone Coat because, <laughs> duh. Hey, Sean. Yes, I think the smallest boards that we're going to have available from Ray are 12 inch rounds. I don't know math enough to tell you what that is in centimeters. Hi, Darlene. How are you? Haven't seen you in a minute. No, Sean, you haven't missed it at all. Um, Maria, I don't know what shipping will be, but I'm going to get the thinnest cradle possible and the lightest material so that when we do ship them, it's as affordable as possible. Congrats, Dolores, on your um, new grandchild. He's out of Fort Worth in Texas. What That's I my dad. Sounds like your daughter's in the room. <laughs> when you spray. Uh, yep, Katrina. Hi, Miha. Katrina, Annalise. Noah, love you guys. So um, the ones that we're doing won't have a keyhole. They'll be cradled. But if you prefer keyhole, maybe it'll make it lighter. I don't know. We'll see what best options they are. We prefer doing a full cradle instead of a keyhole so that clients can figure out all the directions that they would want to hang them instead of having just a like four options uh what wood is the lightest wood probably pine uh, well again it depends on how thick but a quarter inch pine is a little lighter well much lighter than mdf pine or mdf board there you have it so um I am going to go to that side of the room and assist in this massive awesomeness pour. If you have any questions, please hold them till I get back on this side of the table. Por favor. Or direct them to one of the mods in the room. Ray is out of Texas. He is from Fort Worth. Anna said Bob Ross. It is storming here as well. However, we're inside, so it's fine. Thank you, Clara. Cool, cool, cool. Tie, tie, tie. I need gloves. Yeah, that is, that is close to like <laughs> it looks like a cow. Yeah. Everybody gets gloves. 
Actually, I'm going to be able to answer questions for a little bit longer because I'm going to mix up some resin. What's up, Happy Owl? Thank you very much, Beyond. Oh, no, shipping isn't that bad to Arkansas, depending on how rural. Rural? I've never been good at saying that word. Rural. Rural. All right, so I'm going to mix up. I can't words. A lot. Yes, I am. Let me make sure this bucket is fully cleaned out. Thank you, Daddy. Absolutely, cat. All right. Yeah, brewery is not one of my strong suits either. That, I believe, is quick coat. Mitch, I need a camera guy. What's that? I'm just telling Mitch that we made a camera guy. Like while we're oh, like all doing that. He does such a good job on the stone coat. You know? Oh, that is, yeah. Right. He's in the room, he's in the house. So I'm starting out with 24 ounces. I know good and well that is not going to be enough, but it's where I'm starting at because that's the biggest quantity of container I have. Therefore, starting point. Okay. I got a knife, but I didn't want to. You can have weapons on the channel, you just can't use them. <laughs> this is a family show until ATD After Dark. By the way, Mitch, I noticed that you guys had Stone Coat After Dark. <laughs> Do they? They <laughs> did, like, last night. <laughs> if it's the same as ours. After I don't think it was the same as our After Dark. <laughs> I think it had complete different meaning, but it sounded... Like a good time for sure. Is there an after dark tonight? What's that? Is there an after dark tonight? I mean, we have, sure. we can make it happen. People always <laughs> turn it into ATD after. Okay, why can I get this? Are we throwing these away? Yeah. Yeah. All right. While I'm mixing, I can help answer some questions. Theirs was very much more clean cut. However, uh, everybody's like, okay, hold on. I gotta get my wine. Wait, gotta get a sippy sippy. Sippy sippy. <laughs> That's what I forgot to get. I was gonna ask you if, I, if you needed me to bring anything, but I, I just forgot. Oh, oh no worries. It'll be all right. All right, so we'll get Volunteer cameraman here says acid trip. Oh yeah, he he does some good camera work and camera uh, video and camera stuff. So he's an AV guy. Uh, yeah, kind of. He does good photos, photo shoots. He actually did my daughter's 
uh, senior pitchers uh, a couple years ago. Where is he at? He is in uh, Arlington, actually. All right, so we're going to use, what do we got going on, babe? How do you do your epoxy on canvas? Um, the same as on the board that we're about to pour on, except for we prep our canvases beforehand. Um, babe, which, which ones are these we colors? All of them. All of this? Mm -hmm. And that? I was thinking about adding some tints. Okay. It's just a thought. These are open. Trudy, this is Ray. He provided the board. His handle on Facebook is Visible Emotions Art. And if everything goes according to plan, we'll be That's selling his board <laughs> on our website. You have done stuff like that. that we have Hi, MCATS. How you been? Disaster. <laughs> Any prices on the rounds? Uh, I have a sheet yeah. in there. Um, I'll post it in the ATD's Poor People page as soon as I get them narrowed down with Ray. These boards are MDF. Oh yeah, Sean has, oh Sean, he has some pricing on his Facebook page. And I have videos on how to prep the canvases and I will definitely tell you closer to the end of this video. I just have to get everything else done for this pour real quick. Ooh, look at that color. That's awesome. I know, I'm probably going to have to put my hair more up, huh? I'm going to put a little bit too much. Ray, do you ever do um, any pouring? I haven't checked your... I do. I have done some. Uh, sold some. And, but... Uh, um, Hopefully, I'll be focused on um, doing some woodwork. <laughs> That's what I want here. We're going to need another one of these, babe, I'm pretty sure. Ray, if you'll do the on airs. I will do. a steady cramp in my thumb. What type of woodworking do you want to do, Ray? He wants to make all of the wood boards for all of the fam. For the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> I do other stuff too, other woodworking. Uh, I recently made a Murphy bed here a few months ago. That's, That's fun. fun. Um, <laughs> Some desks, and, and once I get my CNC up and running, I'll be able to do some more stuff. Yeah, CNC. Whew. Cheryl, nice. we do post this video after the live so that you guys can rewatch. Um, are you gonna do different? Yeah, this one's good. You want to stir the gold? Ah, yes, sir. Okay. Um. Is that enough? Probably not. Stick. Um, do you think you're going to have other shapes other than rounds? Yes. Um, pretty much. Pretty much any sh any shape. Basic shape. Um, no. And I was talking to to Jeff about doing some other configurations. Um, uh, with the shapes, uh, kind of like a triptych enough, type or things like that. So, I 
And if you guys notice, we did put the this and that in the squeeze bottles. Squeeze bottles, and it's so awesome. I'm gonna include oh, these in our link in the Amazon link like, below. Know. Know. Can you do a Coca Pelli shape? A what? Uh, it's an Indian the Coca Pelli where it looks like a little guy, like it looks like blowing a whistle, and he's got like a little kind of like Indian playing like headset. a clarinet. He's got oh, a it's an Indian Navajo shape, I believe, right? Fertility? Oh, is that I it? think Happy I've Owl seen. will be able to tell you. Is that what it's called? I never knew what it was called, but yeah, I've, I've seen it. But um, I need to get a pattern for that, but yes, I can probably do that. I feel especially, like you can cut around. Especially when I get my CNC, I, I'll be able to do more intricate shapes like that. Uh, which doing custom pouring boards is gonna change the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Everything is custom, so I'm gonna mix more resin. Yeah, we'll do. Um, These are open. Oh, you got it there. Well, I gotta just use the rest of this. That. Yeah, I was gonna say you can. I was gonna cut that, but cut it for future. Yeah, this is. I don't think you're going to get anything out of here. So y'all, we're using stone coat resin. If you are interested in this kind of resin, which is my favorite kind of resin that is available on the market, you can get it from stonecoatcountertops.com. It is the art resin. It has an amazing open time. Like, you can work with it. We've had it working almost two hours under ideal condi conditions, of course. Um, it's got the best UV rating on the market, and you can put things on it that are up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is double boiling water. So <laughs> if you, like, end up using leftover resin for a okay. coffee cup. <clears throat> Wait. What? Don't do that. That is not... That's a, about this. What? All right? That's not. This the it's much? the other half of that. This like, is, this it's is part, part A. a. This is resin part A. So this is what? Part B. You put that in there? Yes. Okay, so then what are you gonna do? Put the other half of this in there because it's a one-to-one -one resin. I know, but that's not, that's no, not nearly as much as that one, right? Then I will start another bucket. Right? Yeah, it's just... What do you want me to do with this? I guess use it. Well, what did you cut it out for if you don't want me to use it? Because I wasn't... I guess I just wasn't thinking, but... I guess because I thought that's what that was. But that's already mixed. So go ahead. Maybe I'll get eight ounces out of it. I guess you, maybe, I don't know. I just worry that... I think it'll be fine using it from two different bottles. No, I'm not worried about that at all. I'm not. Just the measurements were perfect. If you use an X-Acto blade, have parental supervision. What's up, Lisa? Tardy's okay. Um, if you go to Stone Coat's website and use our code ATD, all capitals, you can get $30 off of your $80 order and $50 for a whole bunch of resin is pretty bananas, if I do say so myself. Yep, just got my back. It'd be a waste of a large, beautiful piece I hope it's beautiful if we mixed wrong parts of something it'd be actually a nightmare 
I wish those cups would have came in. I thought they were coming in today. Um, what? Those cups, the new cups. The bigger cups. mixing cups? Um, I thought they were. They may be here by like now. I have these, but the, the, the size is larger than those. One size is larger. You have them on you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're about 40 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> we it's have some on order, way. but... Didn't I thought they were coming in, in today. Hey Kelly, thank you. Your paintings are on the way to you. I don't know if you got my email. So, did I miss any questions? Mix away. Does anyone in Portland want to do a car pull down to Stone Coat? <laughs> That'd be cool. Cats, what was the question? Aren't you going okay? We are. Um, the Just Rosin uh, pieces turned out amazingly. Oh, I will show you guys six. those at the end of the videos. Oh my god, this is in like two weeks. Yeah, that's coming up quick. Thank you, Pamela. Thanks, Monet. What's up, y'all? Are you pouring a cow? It looks like a cow. <laughs> no worries, Happy Owl. Well, I just wanted black in a couple of areas, and I want, even though the stone coat base tints are a deep color, it's very opaque, you never know if an area is going to get thin, so I wanted to make sure I had yeah, cause those areas black. That's why I kept getting so angry yesterday, because I it wasn't swiping the way I thought it would, and it's just because I didn't have hardly any any base resin down. I didn't make enough and so it turned out it turned out a lot better than what I thought it was. This is where I get my cramps. Yeah. Staring. Yep. So do we want to put, do we just want to layer the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Or should we wait? Like do the, the a coat and resin? Um, if anything, I would only do just like a thin. Okay. I don't want it to be too thick that it runs all the way off. Thank you. All right, let me see what we got. You guys, when using these base tints, make sure you don't use too much of it. If you do, your cells will not hold during the setting process. So use a minimal amount, and then you can always add more if it's not opaque enough for you. Don't do like me and just add as much as you just feel like you think you need to because your cells will turn into little kind of blob shapes. Yeah, does Ray also do pouring? He does. Yeah. I'm sorry, cats. I will, um... Oh, Rhonda asked, answered it for you. looks way better. I'm going to go tomorrow to uh, White Story and get some. Um, I had a few people to give me the idea of putting them in the squeeze bottles. It's mm -hmm. a great tip. I wish I could remember exactly, but I have blonde girl memory, unfortunately. It's a gift and a curse. So I'm breaking my rule just a little bit and I'm gonna be doing more than 
four different paints. I'm gonna add a couple of More? tints as well. So this is gonna be flamingo pink. Um the in this container it's just stone coats art uh base tint. Is this trash? Just the base tint. Yeah. All right. Let's put. Let's bring those it's colors just, over here. Just um. Okay. This white is all it is. Thanks, Dion. Oh, we got a TV tray. He's <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> good. Yeah, they're good. Oh, look at that color. Mm -hmm. Trudy, I posted them in the bottom in the description. Hopefully it's there. If not, I will tell you guys shortly. Um, from what I remember, it's resin art, aquamarine, flamingo pink tint from Color Obsession, turquoise seas, nope. Tropical Seas tint from Color Obsession. That black base tint from Stone Coat. This white base tint from Stone Coat. 007. Cranberry from Just Resin. And I believe that's it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go do some art, art stuff. BRB. Word. So, I don't going to be pushing colors into the black so I don't want them to be the tints because they'll get lost because they're transparent when I push them over the black. Remember when you're using this and that that you have to put the other colors over the base tints or else you're not going to get any magic or any cells. It'll just be kind of boring. So I'm going to use my Um, aquamarine from Resin Art. It looks like kind of like a blacked, blacked out world. Yeah. It is kind of earthy. And 
And if y'all know anything about my particular style of pouring, I prefer to have thicker areas of color as opposed to thinner ones. That way it's not quite so busy. Yeah. This next color is Cranberry by Just Resin. This is the turquoise seas, but I'm going to wait on that. All right. I really want a lot of negative space, so that's why this white is going in a larger area. I don't really want the white and black from Stone Coat interacting too much because it's not going to give me a lot of interesting results because they're both kind of the same thing. So if you put oil on oil instead of oil on water, it's not going to react the same. I don't even know if that makes sense, but in my head it does. E-science. Nice. It's kind of like it's the same viscosity, same formula. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to interact the same. I like that color. This is an awesome color. It's a pink flamingo. Probably do a little bit of it now just to get my direction. Did you say super tail chip? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've learned like, unless I'm completely 100% hate it. And if there's a lot pooling in the center, yeah. I'll heat it up and go one way and then go back the, all the way just to just stretch that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's just, that's just my meltdown days. I really like how it looks when it's like it's got an edge. Me too. Mm -hmm. Let's see when you swipe it in there's like like cells next to it, and then there's like a nice oh, contrast. This is what she's good at, laying it down. I'm horrible yeah. at it. Yeah. I think you put I too just much salt over. into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I'm just, I'm putting it down, and then I'll stress about the layout later. I don't want to add too much heat to it. Hold on. I don't know if it has a switch. So I don't want to put too much heat on it. 
because also if you use too much heat, your cells from stone coat won't hold. And I don't want it all to run off before I have a chance of really working with it. I'm just trying to pop a little bit of the bubbles and warm it up. Tell me where to push it. <laughs> Let me try this way. Give me a second. Let me get a direction. Man, that's gonna look so amazing. Now I want to add more gold over here because I like what the gold and green interact and do. Make a nice color. I usually recommend not putting too much gold on because it really takes over. Is this a huge piece? Like, yeah, this is pretty. I don't, I don't think that I'm going to have a problem with that. This color, so I'm using the gold to show up over the black. I need my swipey. You want to push this over here? You just want to do something, huh? I did. I want to be a part of this. You need to get in Look at that. Oh, that is Crazy with the whips. Let's try to do something unique for the peeps. No, it's it's not looking through this. I love it when, when this tint like will go over where the gold has sank so it looks like it's 
like how when the ocean at the top of the beach it goes in, you can, like it's light blue, it goes to darker. Right. Oh, that's so, I love it goes underneath it. Kind of looks like a valley too, like mm -hmm. you created a valley for yeah. it. Yeah. Woo-wee! colors to be sandwiched in between this and that. This is not a good idea because you won't have the same chemical reaction. So I either need to, I'm probably going to just push these this way. Yeah. Maybe take your, get a big one and swipe and then swipe like just kind of give it with that. Yes. Nice. Quite like I wanted it to. What, um, I was going to, can we to put these somewhere? Actually, yeah, will you hit that way a little bit again? Yeah. I'm just gonna have to pull one from this way. Yeah. Just whoosh, go like that. Do that twisty thing into that wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you did over there. Yeah. 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 I don't know, you I'm think like you got on it. this side. I need to do. Look at that. Know what they're saying. <laughs> Hopefully, something they're good. They're probably just going, Wow, my God. I don't want to pull the white over the dark. I would have to come this way. Color over oh, white. Yeah. Just like it. Just like it. Or 
That looks like a, a pink iceberg. <laughs> like how you can see that the, how it goes down into an iceberg. Mm -hmm. gotcha. We should do iceberg challenge. <laughs> that would be cool. People will go crazy with white and aqua and blues. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't. Will you go over there and do that? I don't think that it's on. I think it's just straight on. Can we switch it? white under there yeah, and that's just white oh that's paint. the so it has a mix that's the white underneath uh, that's so clear. clear yeah
we could take so many photos, like macro yeah. photos of this. Yeah, you can. Man, make prints of so many. Like, look at that. Yeah. That's cells inside of cells. You can see the layers. Mm hmm Right over here. Look at that. That pink underneath that mm -hmm. makes gosh. makes it like a purple. Yeah. It fades it into a purple. Oh yeah, off into the black. Maybe that's that's gold fire. <laughs> that's gold fire right there. Ooh, leave mine. This one will be. Okay, I'll leave yours. I'll leave <laughs> thanks. Thanks. My, uh. Your contribution? My contribution. It's like a phoenix rising bit. Exploding at the same time. Unrising and rising at the same time. How does that look on the screen? Can you get me a light though? Oh, you can do this way. Well. Oops, she did it again. We'll name this one Brittany Smears. <laughs> so dumb. <It's> this to where it goes almost like a, uh, a calligraphy fat and then it's kind of like that but like how you've been doing it yeah. Oh. yeah so I think one. I'm gonna pull it from right here this oh, that's way. good whatever you do babe I'm sure it'll look good no order this one Now, I don't have any this or that in this area, so I can add it right here and swipe this way. As long as I don't pull it into the black, it should be good to go. Bananas, wow, hearts. And of course, just a little bit of gold for good measure. Can't put the gold. I can't forget that part. Oops. So there goes that swipey paper. Yes. 
in this little Did I pull enough into this or is it low? Yeah, I mean it's not in it, is it falling? Yeah, it's got gold and it's got all color, three colors in it. I'm just gonna chop it up real quick, okay? Gotcha. Chop it. Chop, chop, chop it up. Going stone coat on it. You didn't answer me. Does that break it up a little bit? Yeah. It's all very cohesive to me. Turn my head on it. Well, as usual. anytime soon, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe in the near future. Um, if you would like to come to Dallas, we are having uh, a class uh, next month. Right? Or just said no. November 17th. November 17th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 16th and 17th when we get back from uh, off the freaking chain. Thank you, Happy Owl. I can't believe, Tracy O'Donnell says, I can't believe I finally catch you guys live and this is what's happening. That's freaking awesome. No, thanks, Tracy. Thank I'm you glad you're here. Your inspiration. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tracy. We wouldn't be anything without you guys. I must always put these little veins of gold. You should come over. Hey, look at that gold flame you just put in there. Do you love it? Oh my gosh. I need to look at that. The That's ribbon? Good. Yeah, they can't see that really because there's a. Yeah, that one looks good. You're going to look at the ribbon? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Look okay, B. Um, Sapphire, you can go on. Uh, I don't want to type with these gloves on. Will somebody put the website up, and you can uh, you can look all the info um, and uh, the pricing and all that fun stuff on our uh, website. I put a board in there to get it to like come back this way a little bit because that's a lot of overflow on that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll put it out so you guys can see that paint one I just did. Uh, Claire, we put our website up there, artistelldeath.com. If you guys, if it's I don't know, I guess it probably need to be talking louder. Um, oh, well, they want to save this one. This one? Yeah, they want to see that. Can you close off? Okay. I'm, I'm just pushing it. What? Are, the ribbon? Yeah. Did you blow that or did you wipe that? Ah, uh, keep going. Oh yeah, they want to see the, um, which, what do you want me to do? Take, you to put it here? No, I thought you might want to put it over there so you can see it on that camera. I just, I, it has to be this table or the, like, floor. That's of awesome, thing? man. I mean, and you can see, like, there's, there's, like, hardly any drip besides this one, and that's because it's, this is off. Mm -hmm. But that's great, man. <laughs> what up, y'all? Oh, my I know. gosh. We saved them, though. No resin And we're a dud. We're a dud. We're a dud. Like, it, it, it's a nice, it's a nice one. When it when it's a lot thicker, it runs and then it kind of fades, and I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. So, um, when I said you look at awesome. the breast cancer warriors proud. Yeah, this looks great. 
So, did I miss any questions or anything I need to chat about with y'all? Thank you. Yeah, I, I need to get the tweezers out. Everybody just wanted to see news. Everybody just wanted to see news. Oh, thanks, Judy. Hopefully, someone will love it enough to put it in their home. Sydney, yeah. Melbourne, yeah. and Let me take this. And 
What's it? Lift that, lift that side up so I can take this out. Totally slipped my mind. Um, let me see if I have a code up right now. Okay, Miss. Come on. We'll just, we'll just keep an eye on it. What we'll do is just scrape. I think so, right um, we'll just Adelaide. Scrape it. Adelaide, Adelaide is the other one. We'll be no going through Adelaide, Bristol, anywhere. Melbourne, this and Sydney, like so late March. Right here. Yeah. And we'd love to see you guys. If you know of studio right. space in any of those areas, shoot me an email, Thorne at Articledet.com. <coughs> two T's, two L's. And hopefully, if we get the space that we need, then Jeff and I, Colored Session, and Stone Coat will be coming back to Old Oz. Dun, dun, dun. I need to be excited. Can we coordinate a church in Japan? Find me a studio space. We'll make it happen. Anyway, y'all, Pluto's about to be on my lap, I'm pretty sure, if I don't take him out soon. So, um, okay, okay, okay. You know, see, you know, I don't even think you guys can see. No, we got it. Um, how many people need to accommodate? Uh, I and I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember what the message said. Not more than 20, I believe. Um, like, you could hang this, like, five different ways. Like, we have to turn it every yeah. week. Uh, we actually have a studio space. <laughs> you need to hang it on a rotating rack. Right. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if we did it like a Lacey Susan? That'd be awesome. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if. Oh, real, real slow. Man, how are you? Big hugs. Hmm. That might be, um, yeah. So. Yeah. Someone yeah. nice to tinker with. Yeah. Something. It would, it would have to be a. Completely lost, I think. Like, oh, yeah. Color Obsession yeah, has to be a to be for, so solid, man. I'll have to ask if we're going to end up in and then, and then you the current like, area. Real slow. Turn it, just whichever. Well, you know how they do the, the months? They resin Sean, the months and stuff? I they use a, a one, one RPM motor, small motor, and just slowly. Yeah. Never even seen that. Yeah. 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 12, oh. then 8, yeah. so that's 20. Good job. How much Good do you job. mix up? Man, I, I mixed up 20 just for that, just for the clear. So, we mixed up about 20 40 for ounces. Yeah. That's a psychedelic cow eat, right? I know. Absolutely, Lisa, I will definitely let you know if we end up doing a class. Also, in Perth, I'll have to ask Color Obsession if that'll be a stop this time or no. I don't know. I'll have to ask her. Do y'all see this mess right here? Um, he does. Something right here. Actually, you know what? I took an hour before the feed as well, just to make sure he doesn't for real, for real need to Hardly anything on this side. Yeah, I know. And so, I'm pretty sure that most of what this is, I want to mark something. I think you got it. I think it's. Oh. I think so too. And that's the good thing about stone coat is once you stop, once you stop heating it and it sets for a minute, it it will not move like. A lot of other resins are still liquid, and you can tilt them, and they they'll slide off. Oh, yeah. Let me just um, check on that for y'all. Well, let's see what I made today. Before you got here. So I opened up the ATD code, which is just ATD, on our website. It gives 5% off. Um, if you're talking about the ATD code on Stone Coat's website, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, big jumper. If you're talking about the code on Stone Coat's, then 
the minimum is $80 to get $30 off. Right, T? It is absolute chaos trying to get everything done at the end of this. Um, this will be a wall piece. Right, Maria? Um, thank you, Kat. They're covering up the piece while I'm saying bye to y'all. So, ATD on my website will give you 5% off, no minimum. ATD on Stone Coats, $80 minimum, $30 off. I gotta take him out. I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Read all this stuff, read all about it. Shoot me an email, thornartistilldeath.com if you have any questions, and I will see y'all manana. Bye! I said bye. Bye. Everybody said bye. <laughs> bye.